Okay, everyone. Hello again. Hello, hello. It's Marcy here from Stampin' with Marcy. Fingers crossed that I am now in the right orientation. I am so sorry. I don't know what happened there. Okay, it's showing that I am in the right orientation. Yay! <laughs> okay, so let me start again. I am Marcy, I am uh, Stampin' with Marcy, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada, and I sell all of the fabulous Stampin' Up! products that I share with you here. If this is your first time joining me, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for taking a few moments out of your day to join me live. Um, if you're watching the replay, it will not say live up on the top left-hand corner. I uh, will be posting this to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching on YouTube. I hope to one day go live for you on YouTube, but I need more subscribers. So if you're watching on YouTube and you haven't yet, please click the subscribe button below so that you get notified every time I have a new video. And once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I will be able to go live over on my YouTube channel. So right now, I um, am only able to go live on my Facebook page. So today, I'm going to be creating an adorable little Easter basket using the Welcome Easter stamp set, as well as the sentiment here from Timeless Tulips. Um, so can you please comment? Um, and let me know um, where you're coming from. Say hello. Give me some love. Um, show me some hearts. The algorithm uh, really likes hearts and thumbs up. Um, please share my video. Sharing is caring. And it's how I reach more crafty friends. So this is the adorable. Let me see if I can't zoom in a bit. No, once I'm live, it will not let me zoom in. So this is the adorable little Easter basket that we are going to be making today. This uses the Welcome Easter stamp set. Oh, how I love this stamp set. I'm going to be using this adorable little bunny. And then the Timeless Tulip stamp set. I'm just gonna be using the Happy Easter from this sentiment here as well the uh, a strip of the pleased as punch designer series paper that is part of the coordination so the um, pleased as punch here you can see that i have used quite a bit of it i've got lots of little bits and pieces so um, it is part of the out of publication product release so this is on my blog right now, the flyer. So it is the Pleased as Punch Designer Series paper is $15.75 and it coordinates with the Small Bloom Punch, the Heart Punch Pack, the Tulip Builder Punch, and the Building Umbrella Punch. So quite a lot in there. Um, so let's get started so I am going to bring in my let's just move this out of the way here can we see this is a piece of thick I'm just looking in the screen here thick whisper white Hello, Tammy, how are you? So this is Thick Whisper White and it is four and three quarters by five and a quarter. And like I said, if you pop over to my blog, but not right now, not while you're watching me, um, all of the measurements are going to be over there for you to easily recreate this at home. So uh, like I said, it is five and a quarter by four and three quarters. And we are going to score it at one and a half on all four sides. Okay. So let's put this to the side. And then I'm going to bring in my bone folder and I am going to fold 
and burnish all of those score lines so that I get a nice um, crisp edge there. And one more. Okay. So now I'm going to take my paper snips and I am going to cut in on my score lines here on this side here. I'm gonna fold this back and I'm just going to take a tiny little bit off of that and a tiny little bit off of that. Turn it over here and do the exact same thing. And I do apologize if you start to hear some whining. It's, it's little Miss Maisie, she's in here and she would rather not be. So she's had an awful lot of time cooped up the last two days because I had my big class yesterday. I had, my stamp -a stack was yesterday. Uh, so um, while my stamp -a stack was going on in the afternoon and in the evening, she was not getting mommy's attention. So, okay. So now I'm going to take my liquid glue and I am going to fold these up and adhere it. So you can do it however you want, but because this is all going to be covered with my design, my strip here of designer series paper. So it really doesn't matter what way you fold these flaps in. So I'm just gonna take my glue there. Make sure it is down flat and here. Give it a squeeze. You could use tear and tape for this as well. I do not recommend using um, snail as you need something that is a little stronger. You don't want it to give um, away on your basket. You don't want it falling apart. So, and there we go. So that is the base of our basket. Now, I don't like to um, score my designer series paper that I'm wrapping around. I find this way, if there's any mistake in your scoring, you've got that score line in it. So what I like to do is I like to lay it so that it's halfway and I'm going to take my liquid glue and you could do it this way too but I like these spring flowers um, for my decorating of my box so I'm just going to take it and I've got some glue on that so now I'm going to take and I'm going to just fold this over the corner and I'm going to give it a little bit of a squeeze and that's going to create that side there. So then I'm just going to fold it back and give it a little bit of my liquid glue there. Give it a little press. Do the same thing with this side here. And that way I know I'm going straight here, pinching that side so that it's got that nice edge. And then fold that. 
I'm sorry, Miss Maisie, you cannot come up. Mommy is busy. Okay, so now I'm just going to fold this over and that, and then I've got that seam there. And before I put any adhesive, I'm just gonna make sure that it's um, got that nice crease. And I find if I'm putting my adhesive on my base, then I am not getting adhesive all over my fingers. Okay. And then I'm just gonna flip and this part here, because this is folding over, so I'm just gonna put some adhesive right there. Okay. So here is the base. Easy peasy, very quick. All right, so now my handle is a piece of um, again, Thick Whisper White, and it is half an inch by, oh, Miss Maisie, approximately seven inches. You can do it any um, length you want. It depends on how high up you want your um, handle to be. And you could also have it so that your handle is underneath the um, designer series paper, but I'm just going to put mine inside the box. It doesn't matter to me. Um, I'm just going to take my bone folder and run it across it just gently like that to create my handle. So then I'm just going to go inside and I'm going to eyeball it and halfway, I figure that's probably about halfway. So then I am just going to take the edge of that strip and hold it in place for a moment. And then flip it over to make sure that it is straight and do the exact same thing on the opposite side. And place that inside. Holding it in place. And then just straightening it out a bit and there's our handle there's our box cute as a button okay so next we are going to set this aside and i forgot to grab my thick whisper white okay so gonna take my Thick Whisper White cardstock. I'm going to ink up my bunny in my smoky slate. Flipping it over. I had to re-ink this from last night's class. Okay. There we have the bunny. Give that a moment because it's um, just been re-inked so it's extra juicy so I'm going to take my piece of Highland Heather and here is my sentiment happy Easter happy spring happy happy everything I only want the happy Easter so I have some washi tape here and I am going to just mask off. You could, um, you could easily use your Stampin' Write markers for this as well. But, and you would need to use your Stamparatus to make sure you're lining it up so that you can do it a few times. Okay, so now I am going to take my Highland Heather. 
I'm going to ink up my stamp, flipping it over to make sure that I can see that I've got good coverage. Then I'm just gonna peel that off. That's a very, very important step, guys. You wanna make sure you peel that off. And then I'm going to take and stamp that down at the bottom here. And ta-da, there we have just Happy Easter. So now to get that a little smaller, I am taking my adorable little, um, oh, I don't need this anymore. I'm taking my little paper trimmer. This you can get uh, for free when you sign up um, to become a demonstrator. So I'm just, I've taken the guard off. So I'm just taking and hoping because I cannot see. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. I've just got that little strip. There we have our cute little Happy Easter. Put that off to the side. Now this is gonna be a little long, so I'm just gonna snip that. And then the way I flag the end is I go right in the center with my snips and cut a line. And then I go from the one side and then the other. And there I have that nice little flagged end. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside for a moment and I'm gonna come in here with my dark, or sorry, that's my light petal pink. I'm gonna come in with my petal pink and I'm gonna color in my bunnies little, I guess they're not so little, they're pretty big feet. The little nose and the ears, okay. And we've got some shadowing because the sun has made an appearance. So I do apologize for that. Okay, so now I'm taking my light gray granite. And I am just going to very lightly go around. You don't have to do this step. I just find that it really makes it pop. So I'm just doing a light line all the way around to give it a little bit more definition for my cute little bunny. Oh, sorry about that. If you've got some fur babies watching, Maisie can hear um, Buffy upstairs. So, she's being pretty patient. I should have brought her a chew stick down with us, I guess. <laughs> All right, so. There we have it. Now all I wanna do is take my color lifter and just lighten up a bit of that outside line. She's talking to me. Okay. So how is everybody doing with the uh, time change? The time change is kicking my butt, I tell you. It is making me a little, I'm off. Feels like I'm running behind or something. I don't, there. And then let's just lighten that foot just a smidge. And the ears, okay. One more thing. We need some adorable little 
pink cheeks. Okay, and then we're gonna lighten them up just a little bit. We don't want them super dark, just like that. All right, now let's quickly fussy cut him out. No, there is no dye, but it does not take much to cut him out at all. So, him or her. I'm just leaving a little bit of a halo. rid of that piece so that it's not come back in do you make Easter treats um, for your dinner table do you have a big family Easter dinner we are hosting Easter here so I will be making a few uh, treats for the little, the littles that are coming to dinner. Um, if I feel rambunctious, I might just make for everybody. It depends on how many people we have attending. It's early yet. We've just put it out there to my family, my sisters that we are going to host. It's also Easter Sunday is also Master's Sunday for those of you that are golfers. We are a golf family, so the Masters will be on. See how quickly I'm doing this? Like I said, it does not take too long at all. And the more you do it, the faster you can get it done because you've got more confidence. That's what it's all about. The more you do it, the more confidence you have. And ta-da, he is cut out. So we could easily put him here so that would cover that seam. And I think that's probably what I'm going to do. So I'm going to grab my dimensionals. And this is a brand new pack of them. So we've got one, two, three. Hi, Jackie, how are you? All right, so we're gonna put our bunny here so the bunny's foot is hanging out over the edge. Oop, except you're crooked, we can't have that. So there we have the bunny, and now we're gonna take a little bit of glue and just put that much, you only need a little. And we're gonna just slide that in right there so it's just above our bunny's foot. Give it a squeeze. Okay, and then pull that slightly. That's the wonderful thing about liquid glue. I had pushed it in a little too far so I could easily pull that back out. So the last thing is our bow. As you can see, I've got a colored bow on here and it's actually my silver um, metallic edged ribbon. It comes whisper white. So I am taking, I have done most of it already ahead of time. So I'm just taking my dark 
Highland Heather. And on the side of the marker, I am just brushing that color for my stamp and blend and there it's completely it goes right through the other side so now I'm gonna take and I want this on the opposite side of the bunny and take this Tie a bow. Easy peasy. All right. And Brad, I can hear him. Brad is home, but I can't yell to him because that wouldn't be very nice for him to come and get Maisie. We're almost done, so. All right, so we've trimmed our tails. And now I just have, this is, I call it Shreddy. I got it from the dollar store. So we can just shove that in there. Hello, Sharon, how are you? And then this is my little baggie of candy from the Bulk Barn. Um, so we've got some fun treats here that we can pop in. So let's put a couple of those, a couple of those, pink, green, and one purple on the top. So you can see that it fits quite a bit, quite a bit in there. And that is all. Was that not super fast and so easy? And really, it does not use that many supplies. And now, if you were to purchase the this stamp set here and the Pleased as Punch Designer Series Paper, a package of the Thick Whisper White card stock, and the ribbon that's going to give you um, enough to get a free celebration item. Remember, celebration is going on until March 31st. Um, every $60 you spend before shipping and tax gets you a free celebration item. So um, it's the perfect time to stock up on your um, paper crafting supplies if you're not wanting any stamp sets or anything like that you just your adhesive your dimensionals your cardstock things like that would be easy um, to just restock all of your necessities and get get rewarded for shopping now if you don't want to color your ribbon if you're not um, fussy on doing that I've got one here that I used our um, tri-colored ribbon. So that looks cute on there as well. Or I was st stuck with the purple theme. The Gorgeous Grape um, mini striped ribbon would be super cute as well as you can see. Let me just turn it so I don't see that goes lovely as well or you could if you're not a purple fan um to me purple is very easter um the color so if you're not a purple fan you could choose any other light spring color to do um your ribbon with or if you don't want a handle on your basket you could um omit the ribbon altogether so remember all of the um, measurements as well as um, product links are on my blog uh, right now and I will be downloading this video and putting it in my, um, inserting it into the blog um, in a little bit so that you could easily um, follow along while I am creating, making it easy for you. So this 
like I said, perfect, quick and easy for your dinner table or for um, treats for your your little friends at school or whatever. Um, yes. So uh, thank you so much for stopping by today. I truly do appreciate it. Um, next week, I will not be live. I am going uh, with my sister, Anne. We are going to visit my our other sister, Carol, um, at her place for a few days. We're having a little sister's getaway. So I will not be live next week. Um, so... The order from last week, yes, arrived right before I put um, went live, Tammy. So I haven't even opened the box. So if you want to give me about half an hour-ish, I can get the box opened and rifled through um, to get that um, order sorted if you're wanting to come and pick your order up right away. Yes, so um, I will... Uh, try to get a video posted for next Wednesday, a not live video of another crafting project. So anyhow, that is all for me for today. Uh, remember that also the best deal in the Stampin' Up! Um, catalog is the starter kit. Uh, $135, you get to choose $165 worth of product, plus you get the mini trimmer, Plus you get a six by six assorted paper sampler and you get to choose any stamp set from the mini catalog or the um, annual catalog. So uh, if you would like any more information, message me for details. I'd love to have a chat with you. Bye for now.